one out there in TV land. It's that random guy and I'll be tearing this system down and replacing some parts within it. So you will need screwdrivers and you will need a USB thumb drive, 8 gig and up. Now make sure among the screwdrivers you have a, you have a thick flathead as we will be using that to pry the bottom piece open. So that that's very much important to this to this here down. So without further ado, let's let's get to it. Alright, so right here you should have a warranty sticker. Remember this will void your warranty. So you're gonna gently pry it while being firm. So try not to damage yourself or damage the system. And you're gonna stick it out through and then just twist it and depending on how broad the flat the flat end is it will just pop the bottom piece right off the clips i'm speeding up the video so that it, so that it won't be long because assuming if you're gonna attempt to do anything within the game you've already had experience tearing a system like this so i just did this for those who might not or might not have known or don't have any prior experience where that is concerned. So now we have the power unit, the cooling unit, the disk unit and the storage unit. I already teared down this system but as I said before, I'm simply showing you guys how to do it in case you don't know how to. So after you tear it down, you just get rid of the screws that are in there and you'll reach the base piece. So as previously stated, the mission for this video is to replace two parts, or should I say a couple parts. I wanted to replace the disk unit and the storage unit because for some reason I was getting an error on one of, on one of them. And in my experience, it's always between both of them, if not the both of them had some form of shortage that caused it to be malfunctioning now the hard drive is not working any at all so i'm just gonna upgrade it to a one terabyte and i will be showing you how to do that shortly but again this is just a video this, this is simply a formality then so that you guys know what to do from what not to do moving right along we're gonna connect the external hard drive to the PC using my one terabyte. So now we're gonna open the box HDD master and look at the file we're gonna run that create the box drive. I'm just minimizing everything and putting it to the side so that you guys can have an, a better understanding of what is gonna happen next. So now you're gonna go to the menu and right click on it and scroll up to PowerShell. I'm gonna run that as I had me. It's gonna open up PowerShell and just looking at the side you'll understand what's gonna happen next. You're gonna put CD dollar sign env colon user profile and then you're gonna press enter and it's gonna carry it right here. You're gonna press CD dot forward slash desktop forward slash x and you can just press tab and it will automatically pull it up then you're gonna press win forward slash this is gonna bring you directly to the folder that we mentioned earlier i know that we're in set folder we're gonna run create xbox drive so you're gonna type in c r or you can just type in c and just press tab until it automatically reaches there it's gonna scroll through then you're gonna enter so I had to switch to my phone camera because there, it wasn't recording while the script was running now what it did it searched for all the hard drives present including the one running Windows but that's not the one you're gonna use you're gonna use the you're gonna use this one as you can see that's my one terabyte so I scroll down and I press one then it's gonna ask me if I want to use all data yes that's why and C is the one I'm using because that's my one terabyte so I press C so I'm gonna just allow it to run in the background 
All right, you would have noticed over to the disk management side that some action was happening. That's because the partitions were being created. So just let it finish run the script. Do not touch anything, please. I will be speeding up this portion of it because you no longer require any input. So just allow the script to run. This whole process will take about seven minutes. So if it takes any longer than that, I guess it's due to the help, the hard drive help that you're using. So just allow it to do its thing. All right, so it's done. And everything appears in perfect order. Now we're gonna close the script and check out the partitions. Alright, here we have the partitions, we have everything in perfect working order, no, no errors. We're gonna eject that and put that back in the system. Time for us to get our USB stick. So we're gonna format that to NTFS. That's the format the game will register or identify. So, time to transfer our OSU file to that. I'll put the link for that in the description as well as the HDD master, so you don't have to worry about that. So, I'm gonna speed through this part because this part can be a bit tedious. Alright. This whole transfer process takes another 10 minutes or so. So, yeah, this, this will take some time, I guess. Around 30 minutes for everything to be completed. So, ejecting that, back to the console. My flash drive is loaded up with OSU1, and I turned it on and it brought me to this screen. So, all you have to do is just go to the troubleshoot menu. Oh, this is my baby. I modded her myself and go over to offline update and just allow that to come in. This process also has been sped up. That's because you no longer require any form of inputs. So you don't really have to worry about it. Just allow it to apply the update. During this process, your console should turn off once and lose video signal once. So just allow it to apply and don't worry if you should see the screen come off. It's perfectly normal. keeping count you have noticed that the second time the video went blank so now it's just about to finish applying the update and we should be able to go so that goes it straight to the welcome page for xbox so let's set the system up This is my this is my official Xbox profile. I have several others, but this is the one I use. So if you guys wanna add me, you can just add me and message me and let me know you saw my video and you liked it. I would very much appreciate that. So just finishing the second process, finding my time zone. As you may know by now, I'm from Jamaica. That's in the Caribbean. So, okay, so now I'm in. Alright, let's see. Ah, there we go. So guys, if you enjoy this, I implore that you like it, that you like it and subscribe, please. 
as stated before, I have a lot more content in the pipeline. And if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. I also have a video showing how to repair or mod the 1S power button when reassembling because it's a common issue I've noticed that might break the power button. So look out for that and again, stay safe.